because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast here in Bolton. Lyndon Arthur joins me, the main man, for this week. Lyndon, thanks for giving me some of your time. How's things? Good, man. Good, good. How are you? I'm good, mate. I'm good. Looking forward to this Friday, of course, some world title action on Channel 5. Um, just starting with a pretty simple question, actually. Why is Friday the right time for you to put yourself back to that world level and, and win the IBO belt? Um. Just the fact that was that, that that was put forward to me, and you know we would it didn't have to be Friday, but it happens to be Friday, and I believe that I'm gonna be I'm 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 in I'm in good shape. I've had a good camp. I'm I'm fit and I'm ready for the the challenge. Yeah, I mean I speak about it in terms of timing, but has it always been for you? I kind of look at your career and sense this. It's always been for you. If someone puts a fight to you, you're never gonna turn your nose up. There's an opportunity there, especially with re reward like there is on Friday. If there's an opportunity, you will always jump. As long as it makes, as long as it makes sense, most definitely. And what threat is Brian going to bring to you on Friday? From from what I've seen of him, he, he, he's a 17 fight, uh, 18 fight pro. He's 117, not 16 out. Um, he's from Argentina. Naturally, they are always tough. I found. Um, he seems confident. He, he says he's coming to to stop my stop me in my track. So I, I'm excited for the challenge. Obviously, we've seen kind of many different styles of you in the ring and many ways that you set about fights. I don't know why, I've got a sense because there's such big reward and there's a big platform, it's going to be a bit of a seek and destroy job or maybe I'm just kind of saying what I want to see, but is that what we can expect to seek and destroy, go out there and look to, to get about him? You definitely see a, a, a good version of Lyndon Alpha that night. Most definitely, I'm, I'm, I get him excited and I believe that I am, I am better. So I believe that will show. I think a lot of fighters, when they get to a certain stage, people kind of presume that there will never be too much improvement. Do you still feel like you're improving perhaps as much as you were, say, two or three years ago? You have to always be able to improve, whether it's off kids or whether it's off your coach. I never, I never, never, I'm afraid to learn something new. Um, so, yeah, I do believe that. And obviously it will tee up some massive domestic fights. I know obviously this week is about you, but you're always going to get kind of bombarded with these questions. Um, when you sat down and spoke to Kala and Wasserman about kind of what you wanted to do, did you always kind of say, look, we I don't want to be a fighter who's afraid to switch platforms and kind of search for these fights? Because the fights out there, of course, are with different promotional companies. As long as, as, long as the fights make sense, I'm, I'm going to be in them. After the, like I said a minute ago, the British, the British like everywhere scene is, is popping at the moment. There's a lot of, a lot of good fighters here in my weight division. And there's a lot of good fights to be made, so I believe they will get made in due time. Obviously at the moment, kind of a lot of the talk surrounding Boazzi and his move to Sky. I just kind of want to get your take on what he said about the zone and people not seeing his fight. You're on the biggest terrestrial platform you can have in this country on Channel 5. Just kind of your take on Boazzi's comments where he said that he was perhaps not being seen on the zone because of course it, was, it is an app. He, he, he believes Bratz is his own man and he, or, or, you know, he's, got, or he's got his team around him telling him and they obviously say on or he or no, they obviously believe that, that that was the best move for him. Um, I, can't comment on, I can't comment on what he said because it's, it's what he said, it's what he believes. Um, he obviously thought that was better for him. And I take it that's a fight that, of course, you would ha have massive interest in? Me and Boatsy have fought in the past before in the amateurs in the ABA finals some years back. Um, so it, it would be good to get back in there again eventually. Do you think he was wrong in a sense? Obviously, we're going off what Eddie said in terms of him being offered the Bivol fight and kind of the time after if he was to sign with Eddie. Do you think in his position he would be, or he was wrong to turn down a world title fight like that? Well, if you look, if you, if you, if you listen to what Eddie, Eddie says that he said he, he didn't think he was really didn't think he could win that fight. That's why he didn't take it. I'm sure Boatsy will say something different. Um, again, it's every every side has two, every story has two sides. You have to hear both before you make judgment. Whether he's wrong or not, I don't know. Yeah, again, he's, he's his own person and he makes his own decisions. He, so, whatever the reason for not taking that that deal or that fight was, he, he, I'm sure he's got his his reasons. 
I don't want to kind of sit here and sound like I'm going to reel off the domestic names, but I said it's a domestic fight to obviously get people talking. Um, I don't think IFL have spoke to you since Anthony's fight with Artur Turbiev. Um, just your take on Anthony's performance and um, yeah, that night. Yeah, he did well. He did. He good. He made it competitive. It was a good fight for him. And is that a fight that you'd be interested in in terms of a trilogy? Because I know when I talk about domestic fights, I think that could argue, arguably be the biggest in terms of the, the kind of the money and the interest it generates. It is in regards to the, 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 the history that we and him now got from, for, between front of one and two fights. It would definitely be a fight I wouldn't turn on. But for you, obviously, full focus is on Friday. And um, do you feel like it, it's important to put out a statement as well? I know for you, you want to walk away with the belt. But is it important to walk away with a belt with people going, yeah, that was a good Lyndon Arthur, rather than kind of just scraping past? It's important to win, and that's what I'm looking to do. It's obviously, be, it's obviously good to get a knockout in every single time, but as long as I am switched on and focused and sharp, then that's what will happen. And just kind of a quick message to everyone who's going to be supporting you on um, Friday night and willing that you become one of Britain's next world champion. Yeah, thank you for the support. Um, thank you. Hopefully everyone can tune in. It's on Friday night, it's, 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 it's on terrestrial TV, it's easy to access. Uh, I appreciate everybody that watches me and supports me. Refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never, never shut up, Barry. It. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. Win it, they're guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt in. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 